Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday and welcome back to another vlog episode. I believe this is the fourth out of the series and we're up bright and early. I'm already dressed. I'll show you guys my outfit in the long mirror in a second. Um, but we're going to L'Appartement 4F today. It's a coffee shop in Brooklyn, but it's I would say it's more so a bakery than it is a coffee shop, but we are going to get both when we go there. Um, I'm so excited. I have seen this place around and people have also suggested for me to visit there on YouTube and on Instagram because everyone knows how much I want to be a Parisian native. <laughs> um, so this place is actually founded by, oops. So this place is actually founded by someone who moved here from France and then he met his wife here and then they started the bakery in their apartment during COVID and opened a shop, I think in 2021. So it's been around for a little bit. I've heard that it gets a little bit crowded. One of Polly's friends lives near there and he's like, on Saturdays, it's definitely, there's a- What? 2022. They opened in 2022. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, um, but one of Polly's friends lives around there and he said that it gets really crowded on Saturdays, like line out the door. So we're gonna get there pretty early. It's seven, I wanted to leave at like 7.45. It's a little bit past that, but we're gonna get there probably around like 8, 15, 8, 20, which is fine. They open at eight. So yeah, I'm so excited. I can't wait to take you guys with me. So I'm gonna show you guys my outfit in a minute, but I did wanna do a fun little what's in my bag because I feel like I never do this and it's like a 10 year old concept. Um, but I do have my little bow inside. I'm gonna put this in my hair. I just have to change out my clip quickly for a hair tie. And then we have my phone with my little case to fi Christmas case on it. This thing is like kind of cheesy, but I also love it. And I feel like people, cause I always have my phone in my hand, they're always like staring at it <laughs> when I'm walking down the street. We have a Summer Fridays lip balm. I found this in a coat that I was going to sell. And thank God, because this is one of the greatest products ever. And I can't believe I even lost it in the first place. And then we also have my little Dior saddle wallet, which fits a lot of stuff. I have cash in here, cards, um, coffee shop membership cards and it's not even bulging on the side and I like having a card holder that's a little bit larger than the regular ones that just have little slots in them so we're gonna bring that and then I'm wearing my YSL hobo bag fits a lot of stuff I'm also gonna bring my vlogging camera so that we can take some clips with that while I'm gone but I'm gonna switch out my but I'm gonna finish up my hair and then show you guys what I'm wearing before we leave here is what we are wearing to the beautiful Parisian coffee shop. My sweater is from Mint Velvet. It's a full zip through and then I just tucked it under so that you could see like the high-waisted part of my jeans. I love how long the sleeves are because it kind of like pops out from my coat, which is from a line. This is the most stunning coat that I own and I say that with confidence. It is the most amazing quality and if you are looking for something to add into your wardrobe that is going to last the test of time, then I would definitely suggest this one. It's a navy color and I like that it's super dark but it's also light enough for where you can tell that it's navy and not fully black. And then my jeans are from Frame. Slippers are from Amazon, which I'm gonna switch out for some sneakers. And then I have my bag that I just showed you guys. So this is what we're gonna wear. I think I'm dressing a little bit too warm for the weather because it's like 40, I think it's gonna be like 46 today, which is pretty warm for December anyway. And I think it's 42 right now, so I might sweat, but I really wanted to wear this coat because I think it's beautiful. And I picked out my outfit the night before. <laughs> We are back from L'Apartment 4F and it was amazing. Everything I expected and way, way more. It was stunning inside, the decor was beautiful and the croissant was the best I've ever had in my life. So that says a lot because I've had a lot of croissants and I've eaten a lot from a bunch of different places. And I think we were right about it not really being about the coffee. However, my latte was still amazing and we still have some left over. And I'm also sitting here eating one of the cookies. So I've been back for a little while. The croissants are long gone, by the way. We ate them at the um, 
So we actually went up to the counter, got a croissant and two cookies and a baguette. And we're gonna freeze it because Polly got his wisdom teeth out and he can't have bread right now, but we really wanted to get it because we don't know when we're going back. And then we went and ate upstairs. It was stunning. I loved the environment and it was like a really nice morning date. Then afterwards we went downstairs and got one of their Gruyere breads. So it was basically like a flatbread with Gruyere baked on top and we were gonna get it originally and then Polly was like, I kinda wanna get it again. And around like 8.45, 8.50, the line was completely gone. So we just got back on line. There were like two people in it and we got one of the breads, which I am so glad that we did because the croissants were amazing. This cookie is phenomenal. Probably the best chocolate chip cookie I've ever had. So I'm glad we just basically covered all the bases. But since we've been back, I filmed the cutaways for the YouTube video that, or the Zara and H&M haul that I accidentally deleted last week. And then I did two loads of laundry and now I'm going to film the like sit down portion of the video, which I don't know why I haven't been doing it this way where I do the cutaways first because those are like the most dreaded part. It's just a lot of like putting outfits together and it's very quick turnaround and I always want to get it done so that I can get the video uploaded because me sitting down and filming the like sit down portion doesn't really have any value unless I actually film the cutaways and I have gotten lazy and have filmed videos without the cutaways and I just never want to put up like lower, to me that's like lower quality content for myself because you can't like see the pieces on or like what they look like. So I filmed those first. We're gonna sit down and film the whole like talk through portion of the video. And then I'm gonna go meet my older sister Chloe in the East Village. We're gonna go to a Christmas ornament shop and I'm so excited. We decorated our tree at the end of the last vlog and we definitely need more ornaments but I don't wanna go nuts. And the one thing I'm looking for is a taxi ornament because obviously we're not gonna live in New York City our entire lives and I feel like that would be a really cute thing to have on our tree. I don't know why I keep taking bites of this cookie because I don't wanna be talking to you with food in my mouth, um, but it's just that good. So that's our plan for the afternoon. By the way, I was completely right when I said that I was dressed way too warm for this morning. So my outfit this afternoon is gonna be very different from what I wore to L'Apartment 4F. And I'll show you guys what I'm wearing before we leave. But before then, I just need to get a little bit more work done and then we can have a fun Christmassy afternoon. have I been telling you all that we were going to try on the Avec La Phil coats that I just got in. I think it, this is the third video that I've mentioned it, but I actually have the coats on this time. So I wanted to show you guys these because number one, they're all very different. And number two, I love them all. And I feel like that normally doesn't happen with me with coats. I'm very particular, but these just look stunning. And I feel like the prices for their outerwear is pretty reasonable considering how classic they are. So this is probably my favorite one. So we're starting with the little Teddy toggle coat and it's a dark brown color. I've been loving this color for the fall and winter. I used to never wear brown. I used to not like brown. And I think it's because I have like brown hair and brown eyes and I thought I wouldn't go with like my skin tone and whatever else, but I actually really love it. And this one is so cute. It has little toggle closures that go down the front, but it also has button closures. So if you don't want to fuss with the toggles, you can leave them un unclipped, I guess, and then just pop the buttons. But I love the way that this looks with black. I have denim on right now, but you could do an all black look underneath as well. But look how cozy and cute this looks. It's also pretty lightweight considering how warm it is, which I love, I'm like sweating right now. I mean, granted I am inside, but I wore this last week when Avery and I did our little partnership with them and it was freezing out that day and I was still so warm. So I have a black long sleeve on underneath, light wash jeans, and then I could throw on my Converse or boots or anything like that. But also really cute if you just wanna put on a really simple base layer, like a long sleeve top that I have on right now and leggings and then put on a chunky boot. I feel like that's a really nice way to dress up something if you don't wanna be like sitting in denim all day. It would help if I unbuttoned it all the way first. The next one that we have, and I also just want to note 
that I'm keeping the same base layer on underneath all of these and every single one of these coats works well with neutrals and like classic things that I have in my wardrobe. So this is a stunning black and white coat and it has a little bit of a shimmer going through it. You cannot really tell on camera, but it looks really pretty in person. And then we have some contrasting buttons. I think, is this technically double breasted? I think it is. <laughs> um, but I love the structure of the shoulders, not really a really strong shoulder, which I like. It's pretty minimal. And the sleeves, this is another thing that is just for people who are a little bit taller. Sometimes sleeves come up to like here on me, but these all come down to a really nice length, especially when it's freezing outside. I don't want like my wrists to be out if I'm wearing gloves. Um, but yeah, that was a weird detail <laughs> to note, but I really love the black and white. The tweed looks super expensive. I'm going to try to show you guys the length. Okay. Ignore the pile of clothes on my chair behind me, but it comes down super long, which I think looks very expensive. And again, I think just the tweed pattern alone makes it look really nice and effortless, but also very dressed up. And like I said, again, if you want to put on something that's a little bit cozier, like leggings and a black top, I feel like you could throw this on and make it look a lot nicer. So really cute coat. It's perfect for daytime and also dressing up at night too. If you wore like tights and a black mini skirt with a black top and wore this coat with it, I think it would look stunning. So really nice and feminine. I'm trying to add in more like feminine and like girly pieces to my winter wardrobe. And I feel like this fits that category perfectly. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of casualty with this last one. I originally filmed my Zara and H&M haul and I included this coat because I had just gotten it in and I was like, this is so perfect, I need to share it in that haul. And in the haul I mentioned that it had a hot pink lining, which if you guys know me and if you've been on my channel for a while, I'm not really like a hot pink pop of color kind of girl. So I cut out the lining and <laughs> you can see like little, this is what the lining looked like all on the inside. I still need to get this out. It was just the internal pocket. I know it looks super crazy, but now the inside of the lining is like this light gray color, which I actually really love. And to be honest, I don't regret cutting the lining out at all. I do need to just put a couple of like little simple stitches around like the cuff and things like that where the lining was holding that together. But all in all, like I said, there's some pink fuzzes on me, but I do not regret cutting this coat or <laughs> cutting the coat, cutting the lining out of the coat. But this one is a super gorgeous charcoal color. I picked this up in a size large because I wanted it to be this oversized, luxurious looking coat. And I feel like it definitely looks like that. And I'm so, so happy with this. This lapel is so thick and it looks super nice. And then this one is even a couple inches longer than the one I just showed you. I don't think I can get this on camera but it's just stunning and I feel like getting it oversized was definitely the key. So if you guys want more of like a street style, expensive look, I would always go oversized. I don't know why. I think I saw Chloe Jade's video and she was like, for some reason, oversized coats just look pricier and she always sizes up in her coats and I really love that idea. And since I did that with this one, I don't think I'll ever go back. I don't know if I'll go true to size to a coat unless it's like an actual oversized coat already, but this one is just perfect. And Avery has the same one, so we're gonna be matching. But I really love this one. I love the charcoal gray, and I didn't have anything like this in my wardrobe already. But that goes for all three of the ones that I just showed you guys. So I'm gonna link every single one, and I will also put the sizing that I chose, because I think I may have sized up in the other two as well. I definitely recommend them if you're looking to add in some winter staples. Guys, the current state of my room right now is just less than ideal. I have this entire pile of stuff that I've taken for Poshmark on the floor here. I kind of just moved it out of the way because I didn't really want it in the view of just trying on the coats for you guys. But then also we have my Zara and H&M haul sitting on this chair. So just piles of clothes everywhere that I need to put away before I go and meet my sister. But I'm feeling very productive. I already filmed this haul. I took all of these pictures for Poshmark. We obviously just did the coat try on and I've also done laundry, which I think I mentioned before. So yeah, getting lots of stuff done. I'm, I'm gonna list the Poshmark stuff while I make some lunch and then we will be ready to head off to East Village. I'm about to leave to go and meet my sister uptown and this is what I'm gonna wear. I have the same, basically the same outfit I had on when I tried on this toggle coat with you and I just put on my platform Converse cause they're super comfy and we're gonna walk a little bit. 
and my Our Cat bag. So let's head up there. I think I'm going to leave my camera here and just take clips on my phone because I don't know if I'm even allowed to film in the ornament store, but I will definitely film whatever I can. Good morning everyone, happy Monday. We skipped a full day in this video. I believe the last time I was talking to you guys was before I went to go to the ornament shop with my sister. And we ended up going there, we waited on a line, but it was not too crazy. I think we were only online for like 25 minutes. And then we went in and got some ornaments. I got one of the World Trade Center. It was the Freedom Tower, which I got as kind of like to commemorate this as being our first home together and that's all I got because apparently we got there a little late and they had a lot more options in the beginning of November I think they started to put them out so we know that for next year because I did really want a taxi ornament and he said that they had tons but they ran out by the time we got there. I mean it's the first week of December so rightfully so but anyway um, I was a bit of a shell of a human being yesterday because we went out on Saturday night to our friend's Christmas housewarming party and I was drinking Prosecco. And I woke up with the most terrible headache yesterday morning and it lasted all day long. And I could not get rid of it. So I didn't pick up the camera at all, but today is a new day, a new week, and I'm feeling slash looking a little bit more put together than I did yesterday. So we're working from home. I have my coffee in my five dollar Santa Claus mug. This thing has brought me so much joy throughout like the Christmas holiday season. And then my outfit is just something I wanted to throw on to be a little bit more polished. Again, we're starting a new week and I wanted to feel a little bit more put together, which was not hard considering how I was feeling yesterday. But this top is from Madewell. It's actually a coat, but it's a little bit more lightweight. It's actually really warm, which I'm always freezing, so I need to have Something that's a little bit warmer at all times, but I love this charcoal gray color paired with my mint velvet little cargo trousers. I'm not really a cargos kind of girl, but I actually really love these. They're like pleated, so they're a little bit more, I guess, like fancy. They're not like a really casual style of cargo, and they just have like this really cool pattern. There's like some metallic thread moving through them also, which I thought was really cute. I'm working for the next few hours, and then I have some things on the schedule for my lunch break. So I have all my handbags here and they're super organized. They did not look like this probably 10 minutes ago, but I just pulled all of them out. And then we have the pile of crap that comes with me <laughs> cleaning out my handbags. And I've gotten so much worse than I used to be. I used to take every single thing out of it and put the bag back in its dust bag in the exact space. But honestly, with shooting and everything, I pull these out and use them and then I go to put them back and I just get overwhelmed that things are everywhere that I just throw them back quickly, which is not how you should be taking care of your nice handbags. So I have all of them together here. I'm gonna run through every single one of them and that will be in a full separate video. And we have some designer, but also like some that are not high street, but a little bit um, less on the pricey side. So I'm excited to share those as well, just to give some options. And I'm loving this color palette on top of everything else. So I'm going to film this during my lunch break and then probably edit this vlog so that I can get it up for this week. And then I've also organized this pile of stuff that is currently on my Poshmark, which I need you guys to shop and put in some offers because this has to go. I have some really nice stuff in here, but I just have too many things and I'm trying to really be a minimalist when it comes to my clothing, even though... It's like my passion to style things and that requires different types of clothing, but this is everything that I'm selling. There are matching sets in here, knit dresses. You could see I have like three striped sweaters toward the bottom and it all has to go. So I'm gonna link my Poshmark for you guys. I say that in like every video now, but I really need to get this stuff out. So um, yeah, please shop it if you guys are in the market for anything. And then over here is a little bit chaotic, but I did put the Christmas tree on this table for a little setup. This candle 
is usually the one that is here, but I just switched it out for my French one because it has like little pine needles on it and I thought it looked really cute with like the gold lighter and just having like the gold sparkle on the tree too. So that I think this is gonna be our little Christmas scape and then I've planned out my day in my planner already. So we're in good shape. Everything's pretty organized and I'm gonna get started on filming the handbag haul so I can edit that and get it up ASAP. And for lunch today, Chef has made these butternut squash raviolis from Trader Joe's, but in a brown butter and pine nut sauce with some olive oil drizzled on top. What else you got? Oh, we're doing grated cheese. Beautiful. A flurry of Parmesan, you could say. Yeah, that sounds perfect. <laughs> Needless to say, I would not be eating like this if I still lived without you. Okay, we muted the Christmas jazz, but it's been on all day and it's probably the most lovely music to listen to while working. It just hits different than a regular like jazz playlist because I've tried to do that in the past um, after listening to Christmas jazz and it just puts me to sleep. Um, but we've had that on the in the background and for the rest of lunch break, we are gonna go just for like a half an hour walk so that we can get out of the house a little bit because we obviously haven't left all day. And then on my way back, I'm gonna get my packages if there are any, and hopefully unbox that stuff with you guys if I have anything to show you. But this is gonna be my walking outfit. I need to figure out my low bun situation because Polly has the right idea. I wanna wear a beanie. And I've never regretted doing a slick bun except for now because there's a hair mask in my hair. And if I take my hair down, it's gonna look really greasy, but I feel like putting a hat on with a slick bun is gonna be a very, strange look but underneath my black Zara coat I have a black or oversized sweater from Z Supply. I thought the neck went up a little bit higher. It's like super windy today so that's why we're trying to dress warm. And then my pants are the same ones I was wearing before just my mint velvet trousers and New Balance cream-ish khaki sneakers. I got them from Kicks Crew and then just a YSL Silferino. So we're gonna be hands free which is nice. I'm gonna grab a beanie on the way out and hopefully I can figure out what to do All right. with this bun. Come on. Here we go. Come on. Okay, I think we got the light to cooperate enough just so I could show you guys my outfit. But it's dark outside and it's time to go to Avery's birthday dinner. You guys have seen her on the vlogs a ton of times if you've been around for the past couple of years. And she's turning 26, or she already turned 26 and now she's back from Paris. So we're going to dinner at Piccola Cucina and I'm so excited. It's probably my most favorite Italian restaurant in the city and this is what I'm going to wear. So it's kind of freezing outside and very windy. I have a collared shirt underneath, it's from Cause, and over the top a gray charcoal sweater from Arquette. And then I put on my YSL pin on that side that you guys can't really see, but just as a little added detail. And then over the top of that I have my Align navy coat. I love this color so much and I think it pairs really well with the rest of the neutrals that we have going on here. And my leather pants are from AG, shoes are boots from YSL, and then my bag is also from YSL. This is the Charlie, I believe, and it's the larger size. So I'm gonna throw my phone in here, hopefully I don't forget it, and a lip gloss, and then I'm gonna be out the door because it is 7.10 and it takes 20 minutes to get there and the reservation's at 7.30, so I need to leave now, otherwise I'll be late. Why isn't this focusing? <laughs> Hi guys, happy Tuesday. I'm about to be late for work, so naturally I pick up the camera and show you guys what I'm wearing for the day. 
Um, I am ending this vlog off today because I'm going to the office for the next few days. And then on Friday, I'll be working from home. So we will vlog again then. But last night, we had a really nice night at Pico La Cochina for Avery's birthday dinner. The food was so amazing as per usual. And we were saying that they give you a good amount of food and it's not super expensive. And it's also really, really good and the staff is amazing. So if you have like a larger group, we had... I think seven people and they fit us in there perfectly and they were just so nice and accommodating and they did a little like birthday cannoli for her even though we all um, were too full to order dessert. But I'm gonna have my lasagna as leftovers today. Hethel, Anastasia and I all got lasagna and we were like all sitting at one end of the table so that was super funny. Um, but we were saying that we were gonna send pictures of our leftovers the next day because we all could not finish it. It was like the largest piece of lasagna ever but Hethel said it was the best lasagna she's ever had. So. I need to stop saying the word lasagna and show you guys what I'm wearing for today. Sorry the heat just turned on, so if you guys can hear that in the background, then apologies for that. But I'm wearing a collared shirt from Cause. I almost sold this because I have one from, where's my, oh, from Riona. But I do kind of like this to keep as just wearing underneath a an oversized sweater like I am right now, just so I don't mess up my like rigid, nice, collared shirt that I wear on its own. And then my sweaters from Arquette, you can't get this in the US, but if any of my subscribers are from England and you wanna send me some stuff, <laughs> I would love you forever um, because I love this brand so much, but the only things that I have from them are things that I got when I was in Europe earlier this year. Um, but yeah, I really like the oversized look with these leather shorts that are from Z Supply, which I had these in the back of my drawer. I almost, I was trying to find my regular trouser shorts and I think they're in the wash. And I found these instead and I was like, this looks so much cuter than just normal trouser shorts because there's a little bit of texture going on here and I like it with the brush material of the sweater. And then my pin is from YSL. This is a really good way to kind of dress up any outfit. I feel like without it, it would be a little bit plain. But adding this cute little luxury detail I think is really nice. And if you're someone who doesn't want to spend money on a handbag, that's completely understandable and reasonable but if you still want to have like a little piece of luxury i really recommend um buying a pin from any brand um, my watch is always the same from the coach outlet and then my tights you guys these are so sneaky and underrated they are from commando excuse my like a huge calf muscle <laughs> they're from commando and they have a control top so they are like solid at the top and then they have a really nice like denier on them that's what we call like the sheerness of the tights and I think they only have one version so you won't get confused about like which ones to get um, and then my shoes are from Jonak uh, I almost said London they're from Jonak Paris and I had to dust these off out of my closet because I hadn't worn them in so long but they were kind of a forgotten style in my wardrobe but I really like the way that they dress up and I love them paired with tights so this is the work look Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it wasn't too long because I feel like it's been going on for days on end, but we got up to a lot and I feel like I was able to take you guys around to a bunch of different things, so I hope you guys liked it. Um, make sure you don't forget to subscribe. I would so much love to have you on my channel and yeah, I hope to see you guys in my next video.